Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel The Navy Guy. Today we will cover the Unit 1.1 Marine Internal Combustion Engines. Do subscribe and share our channel. Now we will start our session with no delay. In this video we'll talk about what is an engine? What are the types of engines? Important terminologies related to marine engine. So let's talk about what's an engine. A machine used for converting any of various forms of energy into mechanical force and motion is known as an engine. On merchant ships, it is used for propulsion of the ship. It generates thrust that is transmitted via shafting to the propeller which generates thrust to propel the ship ahead or astern. Here's an animation of marine engine that is being used to propel the ship forward. Now we'll talk about the types of engines. Here is a flowchart depicting the types of engine. We'll put more focus on two-stroke compressed ignition engines in our further videos. First we'll see external combustion engines in brief. An external combustion engine is a heat engine where a working fluid, contained internally, is heated by combustion in an external source, through the engine wall or a heat exchanger. The fluid then, by expanding and acting on the mechanism of the engine, produces motion and usable work. The fluid is then cooled, compressed and reused, or dumped. In these types of engines, the combustion is primarily used as a heat source, and the engine can work equally well with other types of heat sources. It is of two types. Steam engine. Steam turbine. Steam engines are an example of external combustion. Most of the world's electricity is still generated using steam turbines so in terms of kilowatts generated steam is still supreme even ahead of the internal combustion engine. Now we'll talk about internal combustion engines. In brief and explain in our later videos. So, an internal combustion engine is a heat engine in which the combustion of a fuel occurs with an oxidizer in a combustion chamber that is an integral part of the working fluid flow circuit. It is of two types. Compressed ignition engines. Spark ignition engines. We'll study more about compressed ignition engines also known as diesel engines as they're used on board modern ships for propulsion. Now, Now we'll see some important terminologies that are very common and hence, most important in marine field. Mean piston speed, it is the average speed of the piston in a reciprocating engine. It is a function of stroke and RPM. This parameter is sometimes used as an indication of how highly rated an engine is. It is given by the formula 2 ln by 60 where L is length of stroke and N is RPM. The unit is meter per second. MCR, the maximum continuous rating signifies the maximum continuous output at which the engine can be run safely and continuously. It is the rating stated for an engine by its manufacturer which reflects that engine will perform reliably at that level, under specified conditions. CSR, continuous service rating is the normal load at which the engine is expected to operate continuously. This rating takes into consideration deteriorating of hull and propeller condition and occasional heavy weather. This rating ensures that engine is never overloaded. It is normally 85% to 90% of MCR. Thermal efficiency, the ratio of work done by working substance in the cylinder in a give time to the heat energy of fuel supplied during the same time. Mechanical efficiency, ratio of power delivered by the engine to the total power generated within the engine is known as mechanical efficiency. Specific fuel consumption, it is the fuel consumed in given time divided by the power developed by the engine. It indicates how fuel efficient the engine is. The unit is gram per kilowatt hour. Peak pressure, it is the maximum pressure reached during the cycle of operation. This pressure determines the required strength of various components of the engine. Mean effective pressure, it is the theoretical constant pressure which may be assumed to act on piston during its power stroke. There is a great variation of pressure during a cycle of operation. But power is calculated on basis of average or mean pressure. It can be derived by measuring the area of an indicator diagram and dividing it by its length. Volumetric efficiency. Volumetric efficiency can be defined as the ratio of the volume of air drawn into the cylinder to the swept volume. 
In naturally aspirated engines, the volumetric efficiency generally falls between 0.85 to 0.95 for turbocharged engines it is much higher. That's all for today, we hope that you find our videos helpful. In case of any doubt or query or scope of improvement, do contact us via links given in description box below. Do like share comment and subscribe our channel. In next video we'll talk about the working principle and timing diagrams of marine engines. Hail the sail. That's all.